Hello everyone and welcome back to Nakari. And we're about to vassalize a L'Oreal, but we gotta go through Gay and Vale to do it. And it's got by a bunch of Phoenix Guards and Swordsmaster of Hoeth, so it's gonna be a rough one. But once we vassalize her, we're gonna go and claim the Sword of Cain. And that's when the fun starts, because if you thought Nakari was good at killing lords before, just wait until he gets the Sword of Cain. So, we are kind of hurt already, and uh, again, this is gonna be rough, so I think we're just gonna merge those guys, get them a little bit healthy, because they're not gonna be great in the siege anyway. And I think we're just gonna merge these guys, because they aren't that great. So, we're gonna keep one around for just the support of their debuff, but I think that's gonna be good enough. So, let's instead get the Mirror Guard and the Marquis of Masochism to just get some punching power in there. And holy crap, that is all of our money. <laughs> okay, so there goes our economy, but uh, it's gonna have to be alright. Because it's gonna be worth it. Let's go and kill the L'Oreal. So, we can seduce them. That's gonna be the rest of our money. And maybe that's okay. We can grab... Otherwise, we can grab one white lion. But I mean, the bonus versus infantry of the Swordmasters are so good. Why is their leadership low? Hmm. Weird. Well, either way. I think we're gonna grab them. Because it's... This is gonna be such a hard battle. So, I think that's just the way to go. And you're just gonna be the first in through the, the breach. So we're gonna go with that, and I think we're just gonna fight it right away. Just get this over with. So maybe we didn't need to spend most of our money on Source Masters, because this map is actually kinda great for us. You wouldn't think it, considering it's lousy with towers, but we've had this one before, and uh, we're gonna be a little bit sneaky on it. So first of all, these guys are just gonna go and hide in the forest, because... Can we... No, that's that's pretty good. I don't think we can get much closer. Because they're just going to go and climb the wall as fast as possible. And the rest of the stuff will just... Uh, kind of... Flaunt them a little bit. Just make sure they see them and make sure they want to kill them. Because we're just going to put them right here where they can see it. Uh, these guys are going to be a little bit more on the flank. But just still visible. And I don't know if the AI... like counts units because otherwise they'll know someone some of the things are missing and they might put some stuff over here for safety but just in case we'll uh, just put kind of few units uh, hiding and uh, we'll just send the fast ones around because these are kind of slow but these are gonna get there in no time anyway so yeah let's just uh, send them over to the gate you're gonna start climbing because you can't no you're gonna go and hit so Send them on over there, and all of these guys are just gonna go and start punching the gate. It's gonna be great. The rest of yeah. Um, they are in range, so maybe we stop that <laughs> and just make sure they move on over there, actually. Probably want to send them, like, there. That's gonna be fine. We'll fix that once they get there, though. It's, it's gonna be fine. And you've been taking a little bit of damage, because they have... All oh, right, they have a big old tower over there, and they're doing a lot of damage to our guys. Oh, they did put a unit here, and it's a bolt thrower. Okay, well, they are sending some... some white lions, but that's fine. <laughs> we should be able to get a couple of these guys up on the wall before they even get here, and by that time, we should absolutely dumpster white lines of Trace, because we got Swordmasters, Swordmasters, and for some Forsaken, so we should be alright. Oh, are you not going? Yeah, you, you are getting up there, you're just, it just looked like you were going for the gate. So, just make sure they're hitting the gate, we are, well, we're g getting through there. And we should be winning this, even though we have few numbers. Actually, they're doing a lot of damage to our mirror guards. It will be done. Well, here's some more of them. And I feel like we should win this. Probably. 
But we're about halfway through the gate, so we're just gonna... Oh! We rampaged them, and they went up after our guys there. Alright, that's fine. Let's send in the Swordmasters, make sure they start murdering stuff, and we are winning this, so that's pretty good. Oh, did we did we get through? It sure looks like we did, and uh, now we can hit them on both sides. Excellent. So, get through that gate, there we go. And everyone inside, especially Nakari and the... And the marquee, and we're just gonna dumpster this, this wizard. Beautiful. So, we got some silver helms over there. That's fine. We're just gonna hunt them down. Um, you can go and help out with that. And uh, let's just send you... Alright. I hate that I try to use the damn ladders as if they're equal. Like, the gate is obviously superior. Why are you even trying that? So, go over there and help. We'll uh, park you over there. And uh, you'll start throwing your javelins. And these are Phoenix Guards. That is not a fun fight. You come on in and... F actually, we're doing pretty good. Um, let's, uh, let's actually do the enfeebling foe on you. Make sure you're nice and debuffed. And we are winning pretty handily on top of that wall. So, now get in through the damn gate. There you go. No. God damn, I hate that. I hate that so much. So you're starting to take a lot of damage there. So you just charge in on the rear there. I just try to pull you out a little bit. Oh, we're rampaging those guys in there as well. So get in there and fight. You're gonna be fine. Please get inside. Oh shit, you're, you're gonna start crumbling. Well, that's not great. I spent a lot of money on you. Okay, good. You're stabilizing. Um, let's just let's just hide you over here. Oh, we got some white lions there. That's fine. Make sure those guys die. Oh, and uh, you're pretty much done, so... Yeah, let's send you inside. Let's get a nice thwap on these guys. And thwap. Pretty good. Get in there and fight. Send you inside. And... Uh, yeah, let's uh, charge in on these guys. You can help out over there. Oh! What the hell was that? Um, why they explode? Okay, uh, try to pull these guys out. They're just love and sea guards. You don't need to be there. Let's instead go and fight those guys. And uh, we got some silver helms coming back, but yeah, I just need to get on up here. Oh. Kicked outside the window. Yeah, you're fine. You're doing all right. You're working hard to get on in there. And just make sure those are nice and surrounded and dead. That's gonna be good. Oh, let's go and shut that down. We can't have them shooting at us and these guys shooting at us. Just get out of there. I don't want you to die. So, you're fine. Let's chase you guys down, and then we'll just just circle around and hit them in the rear. Make sure these Phoenix Guards go down. Um, you can go and help out over there. So I'm just a little bit scared of all of this. Ooh, get on top of all of that. Let's see if we can rampage you. Get on inside. And one of you go and kill that, please. And you're shattered. So, let's run around here. Hit, start hitting that in the rear. God, they got a lot of shooting. And I do not appreciate it. But we're shutting that down. Making sure you die. Trying to heal Nakari a little bit by just murdering stuff. Ah, crap. Got Phoenix Guards coming back. Damn, they are 
tough to crack. Yeah, get on top of all of those, shoot all of those archers. That's all right. We can go over there now. Brave the ranged. Oh, um, I'm going to do spearmen, please. Just ignore them. It'll be fine. And just push through these archers. You guys can help. Okay, I think we'll be all right. I hate these... These... Uh, what should I call it? These... Uh, uh, Phoenix card, but that's gonna be all right. Oh, we got so much magic that I'm not using. Slap him. Uh, probably slice him. Okay, I think we shattered some some of those uh, Phoenix card. We got a couple more to kill. That's all right. Slice them. There we go. That's pretty good. Those spearmen, they're just spearmen. How bad could it be? Oh, uh, let's get on top of you. You're fine. Let's go and help out with that. Stop these guys from shooting. And I love that everything rampage around us. That is so fun. Let's rampage those guys too. Send you up and finish that sandwich. But these Phoenix guards should start shattering, I hope. All of our elite stuff is... Oh, that's the guys who, that are up here. Alright, well, you're doing alright. Try to make sure that these don't come back. Yeah, there's a good slap. So, a lot of you just... Get on over there. Let's get a couple of you just charging into these spares because I think they're having army losses. Oh, that is such a rough fight. <laughs> oh, we're so squishy. We're so squishy. Oh, and that is such a nasty fight. I'm... I'm, well, I'm glad I got these, especially the mirror guard. The mirror guard is so good. And banner... Ooh... Well, that's neat. Just damage over time in around them and give them weakness to fire. We have a weapon that does fire damage. I think you have it, so put it on you. And you're often in blood fights, so I'm all right with it. Okay, we could sack this. Oh, do we still reach it? I think so. Yeah, okay. Ooh, that was a gamble, but... Uh, we are... Oh, we don't get the healing when we subjugate after doing that. That's alright. I wanted that money because we've spent a lot of it. And, oh, bringers of beguilement are so good. But they are so expensive. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have to take it a little bit easy on the on the units now, but there's some good stuff for us. So, we don't have a lot of demonettes, so we'll wait on that, but I do want to get some good demonettes soon. That's not gonna do much. I think we're just gonna do this and just lower enemy weapons. Actually, nah. Let's, let's go for the experience. I think that's good. It's all characters faction-wide. It's really useful. And let's increase the mobility, I think. Oh, wait. No. Gates of Slaanesh. Yes. And we need all three to get this. Yeah. But this is still the... This is the better gate, I think. I'd rather have surprise... Uh, surprise demonettes coming up behind or than a uh, Keeper of Secrets. But this the Keeper of Secrets is still great. So, yeah. We're, that's going to be excellent. We got you in our grasp now. So, I bet Tyrion likes that. <laughs> I could declare war on you and see if you want to come out and just so, just so I can mark you. Although, you can mark with heroes too, right? Yeah. What are the chances of... I mean, 51% chance of just... Uh, just... Giving you a mark. 
And that should start giving us uh, influence on you. Yeah, we might do that. We don't have any movement left, so we can't do that this turn. But I think we might send you out next turn. Uh, we already grabbed that one. Oh, we've already done things with you this turn. All right. So, we are going to need the replenishment here. And I think we're just going to sell Tor's Sarori. How much money you got? But lies from you. Ah, plenty. Serving the gods. Give me that. And we might sell these as well. But we'll sell it when they have a little bit more money. And we can actually get some reinforcements in here, so that's going to be fine. This is almost repaired, so that's fine. That's... That's Norskins that we don't care about, so yeah, let's pass the turn. Oh yeah, Tyrion really didn't like that. So yeah, do it, and uh, you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna start your war against your what are you concubine, wife, girlfriend, something like that. They sleep together, so have fun with that. So they're building an outpost, sure. Durthu is uh, ambushing, that's fine. We got a rebellion happening over there, I suppose. But yeah, let's... Uh, 50%, let's do it. We did it! So, now you have a gift. You should start increasing this now, because I think gift increases by 2 or 5. But that should start going up. That's gonna be great. And um, does that spread to... Absolutely not. Nah. Alright. But the gift is going to be really useful because that... No, it's just three. I thought it was five. Alright, well, it's more devotees at the very least, so that's very useful. Might send you down to do it on you as well. Like, you're super useful to have in the army, but... It's really nice having someone running around doing shit. Oh, although... Right, we're done with this, so... Maybe we should do that with the Alluresses. And this is gonna be also be a lot of money to spend on this. But hero actually success chance isn't bad. Speed for the entire army is kind of nice, but... And the Vigor loss, that's not bad. Kind of like Sleek. It... Helps for the uh, for the campaign map, and it's also good in the army. Yeah, I like it. I like strong too, but you're go that's gonna be like strictly for fighting. Actually, do we have anything better here? I mean, that's pretty all right. We already got that on the thing, and discipline is good, but it's not as good in as suppose this is just plus one. It's not very noticeable. Well. I don't think it's necessarily noticeable, but it's probably not very impactful, is probably a better word. So let's grab Sleek. You can start running around and messing with people for a little bit. Because you're a good fighter, but I think I prefer the cultist. The casting is really nice, but again, we got good casting on Akari, so... You're gonna be better in a different army, I think. Oh, wait! You get a serpent of Slanesh? I didn't. Oh, I didn't know that was a th it was part of the mod. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's part of the uh, the pleasure seekers or whatever it's called of Slanesh mod, the Chaos Robin mod. Neat. But we'll uh, start using you later. I think you're gonna go around on the map and have some fun, and we'll uh, pop you into an army later. For now, I think Nakari is gonna need to recover a little bit. Right. You you are the Oh you! You don't even have an army. Alright, so we, we have time. We're just gonna recover a little bit. You're gonna start coming with. That's gonna be alright. And yeah, we're just gonna Wait, what is this? Alright, oh, you you can't set up more cults yet. Oh, and shouldn't you... Shouldn't we getting more than four here? 
We should be getting like eight here. Shouldn't we? No, the control is low, but we should be getting at least eight. Well, that's weird. Doesn't does that not stack? We should be getting twelve, shouldn't we? Huh. Or I guess this finished this turn, so it's not Cultists. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It hasn't counted yet. So send you on over there just to have a look, and yeah, we'll uh, we'll probably pop one in here as well. And you're doing pretty interestingly at the very least. You're doing weird. What are you doing? <laughs> that's that's just weird. So we can hit this in three turns, and we are gonna hit that as soon as we can. And we're just gonna keep passing the turn, I think. Yeah, keep collecting there. We're not collecting in here. But I guess that's fine because we'll get... Gr you know what? We need the money now. We, we, we're just gonna grab the income. Really want this as well. But we are 11 from doing that. Alright, that's sweet. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll wait for these to reconvene and then we'll go after this and then we'll just subjugate you, I suppose. It's gonna be great. Ah, oh, crap, that is actually a pretty strong garrison or army. Thought I would get there in time. Oh, well, that's fine. Let him take it. We'll go and take it back. It'll be alright. Um, do we wait for the cultist, though? Nah, we can take that. That's fine. Do we auto resolve this though? It's gonna be painful. Although, I guess they're as bad as auto resolve as we are. But that, that is medium casualty, so probably a bad idea. So the Mother Horsemen do get the. Yeah, they do get the Devastating Flanker. That's good. Not that it matters for this battle, it's just. I was curious because I wasn't sure. So, let's uh, just drag this out. Where are there? There's some Seeker Chariots. There's some ch Seeker Chariots. I think... They had a lot of them, so I think there's gonna be some on the flank there as well, so... Well, uh... Put a couple of them over there. And a couple of them over here. Try to get on top of the Seeker... Yeah. Although, I guess we had more of them... On this side so put you over there it's gonna be fine you can grab these though and you'll be group one. Oh wait oh no 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 you'll be there and you'll be there there it's gonna be good and Nakari and friend can just uh, Go into the center, basically. Because now, now they don't have any shooting we have to worry about. So that's good. So, move you up, start throwing your shit. And get these into the chariots. Because the chariots are not going to be good against our cab. And we can even just... Well, I guess this dev devastating charge is going to be relevant for this. So, send them in in the rear. That's going to be good. Oh, um, turn that on. You go and fight that, though. It's going to be fine. And Marquis, let's lock him down. Let's turn that on. I guess start healing you. We can slicing... Sh oh, get you out of there. We're going to sli slice their shards, so get out of that. Get out of the splash, show, splash zone. Oh, shit. We had Forsaken in there, too. Whoops. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. That's all right. How much damage could we have possibly done there? So, we can speed this up, I think, because these are going to die. There's just a spawn left, so... There we go. Not bad. I don't think we lost that much. We might have sliced our Forsaken a little bit, though. Wait, can I subjugate 
rebels. I, I don't think I should be able to. No, we have to loot the nuke mine. Okay. Because it wouldn't be fun to just have a random Slanesh faction hanging around. Oh, we got another fire banner. Neat. Eliminate any lord in battle. All right, we've done that a couple of times. We got another banner. Sweet. So we got this back. So let's grab some replenishment. And where is it going down? Because of buildings and power of nature. Oh, you son of a bitch. All right. And this is also going down because of very big racial resistance. All right. Well, that's that's annoying. Oh, it gets really big there and enthralled. All right. So, well, it doesn't really matter because they're a vassal anyway. I see the truth hidden so I guess that's words. fine. And we'll sell that to her. Once we're done. But this is... Okay, it's just neutral. So it's just gonna be zero. Alright. That's fine. Not possible. Oh, you need to defend Tori Vres. Well, at least Eltharion is back. But... Oh, and they both have gifts. Sweet. But yeah, you, you need to get on in there and uh, defend this. But I feel like you should be able to hold that. No. Tyrion is strong, but so is Altharion, and that is a that is a good garrison. And I think we're gonna have to go down and defend that soon. But we have time to get uh, the Sword of Cain first, right? So let's grab... Oh, did we not grab... No, right, we took uh, Harvester of Souls instead. So let's start grabbing that for more damage and lowering enemy damage, because that's pretty nice. Of my master. And do we just sit you here to chill for a bit? Yeah. But now it's 12. We are gonna have to probably get some more of these cults. Unless they can stabilize this, but... I guess they're not going to. We do have some Slanesh corruption happening, so... We might be able to get you to to uh, be seduced just because of our smash corruption. That's helpful. Oh, and we can try to gift you. Yeah. Ah, dang it. Well, worth a try. Yeah, so we can just try to get a bunch of gifts here, actually. Yeah. Get back there. Let's try to spread some gifts. This is happening in two turns, though, so hopefully we get some more in the Empire. But you are gonna grab that so we can get ourselves some demonets. I guess upgrade that. It's not great, but it's okay, I suppose. That's very expensive, though. I think I'd rather just spend on some growth here. And try to get to tier 3 here so we can get the landmark, who is gonna give us a lot of money. And yeah, there was no... Right, that's the landmark I wanted because it's good money. And wait, what? what? Why did it disappear? What? There we go. Oh, that's lame. I thought... Uh... Oh, this isn't the... Land of the Dead. That's Shrine of Asurian. I guess Land of the Dead is only in the Vortex campaign map. Because this should definitely be a Chaos landmark in Land of the Dead. Because that's where the... I'm pretty sure that's where the vortex like takes place. Where it originates or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, let's pass the turn again. And uh, oh, you're you're just going to cower in Shrine of Cain. Alright. And Morathi wants trade. Yes, finally. Give me more money though. Oh, you gave me less money, you bastard. <laughs> okay, well, now it's up to 25. So, yeah, that's going to start growing quickly. I just want to get a cult in her in her lands, though. Because uh, there should be popping up naturally because of the high Slanesh corruption. 
So hopefully that happens soon. So Tyrannoch is dead. All right, Ostland is dead. We got narcissism. That's pretty nice. Just locks things down. And uh, gotta defeat six Kistle of Cathay or Empire armies in the field to get the Sword of Bloodsheds. All right, that's fine. Let's. I guess just go and sit in the gate. We'll pop you back in there. And we should. Although you're gonna be switched out for Alariel once she comes back. Otherwise, we should mark you. Yeah, but at least you're not moving out. That's good. Because I don't want you to do anything stupid. So yeah, let's send you on down. Oh, I guess Sorrel was dead, but now he's back. Oh, and this is going real quick. Nice. So we are... Oh, we only need 180 for this. Yeah, this is going pretty good. Always you want some... No, you don't want any more things. Does anyone want Lord any more things? Me. Except for you. We're yes. gonna go and murder you. I mean, we can get trade with you. Might Enter as well. Then. Are you after a drink? A fist fight? Mm. Or both? I guess that... Hmm, we're not getting a lot from there. And we might wanna just... Vassalize Wintertooth instead. Tribesmen. You know what? We're gonna ignore that. Because we can't vassalize you anyway, and that's not a lot of money. Rather just trade someone else. It'll be fine. So, let's try to... 35. Can't get any better, huh? Alright, 39. Let's try it. Can we do it? Yeah, we got it. Excellent. Grab that gift. That's gonna help a little bit more. Yeah, we're just gonna go around and give gifts, I think. It's gonna give us a bunch of devotees, and it's gonna just make it easier to seduce these guys. And I really just want... want... Uh, Gelt as a vassal. Because I think that's fun. I wish this was... Uh, cool down rather so I think we're just gonna get you ready for an army in that case it's gonna be fine and let's get some growth in you because you're gonna need some growth here and I'm still gonna save a little bit of money but we can upgrade this next turn that's gonna be good so let's pass it oh shit are you you're actually declaring war on us Alright, um, well, Alariel is gonna have to deal with that, because we're gonna go and grab the Sword of Cain, so have fun. So, little Safari is trying to stand up for himself. Good for him. Question is, do we go and deal with this, because uh, that is actually a full stack and you haven't, you haven't recovered completely. It is Alariel, so she is gonna be pretty strong here. But you don't have a good garrison. At least this is pretty strong, so they shouldn't be able to just waltz in there. But maybe we need to go and help out with that. Or we just trust that they can deal with themselves. Ah, let's, let's believe in them. And just, it's button time. So, we get Venom Glade. Alright, more Dark Elves. You want to be friends. Oh, you do. Oh, hell yeah, you want all the things. And you're not even that weak. Success Excellent. So that is gonna be lots of extra seduction for you. Sweet. Might actually pop in a uh, a cult there as well, just to get that moving a little bit faster. But we might just be able to get you. So Tlangsla. Okay, we got the Bretonians. No, the Empire's it down here. All right. Oh, you're gonna rebel. I don't think you're doing very well. Actually, you have seven settlements, so you're doing okay. But we'll we'll keep an eye on that. I don't know if we're actually gonna do something with that. And jungles of Shihan. So we. Oh, we get the. I thought we got um, we got Cathay, but we got the wood elves. Huh. Well, we can get twelve a turn here from these guys. 
So we might be able to seduce these guys. Maybe. Okay, I'm gonna start by just... Uh, by just getting a normal cult here. Just to seduce these guys. I think that's gonna be good. And hopefully they won't be murdered by... By Torox. Oh, you are war with war with Torox. That could be a problem. But uh, we're gonna save up some devotees, and I think we're just gonna set up a a cultist in Cathay because I want to spread around some stuff in Cathay, I think, and not just STDs. So I think you can handle yourself. You'll be fine. We're gonna pop in over there, get some. Uh, oh, we don't even need that. You know what? We should have marched towards that. It's fine. We're healthy enough. We can take that out. It'll be fine. And um, I guess we could assault units here. But I feel like it doesn't do a lot of damage. So I think we're just going to want to run you down towards Tyrion. It's got to be fine. And that's not... Where's Balthasar? He is nowhere. The nation calls. My so you can actually master. reach down there to the stronger army. What's the chances? 48. Not bad. Oh, crap. I wounded him. Her. Why, yes. Crap. All right. Uh, do we care about you? I mean... The devotees are nice. My prince. This 39%. I'd rather try to get this again. But you might just be killed by Vlad anyway, so let's start running you up here and have a look. That's real annoying. Oh, but we can save some money here. In enemy ter oh well. That's easily fixed. There we go. It's not gonna be any surprises here. Oh, we could have we could have gotten some money for declaring that. Oh well. Let's lower our upkeep a little bit here. That's gonna be good. There we go. And oh wait, we could upgrade this this turn. Excellent. So now we're just gonna start growing these, so. Upgrade the growth buildings. I don't think we need this. We might just tear this down. I don't think we're gonna get any more Forsaken or special Marauders. Yeah, you know what? Just demolish that. That's gonna be fine. I'll probably upgrade that as well. Our growth is really bad. Huh. This should give you 10 growth, but... Oh, I guess that's part of buildings. Oh, well. It's pretty bad growth. That's alright. How much would you want to pay for... The Evershale? Oh, 7k. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. Hell yeah. Give me that money. Playing hard to get. Inconceivable. There is a dom dominion which seems... Unmovable by either your incomparable beauty or your breathtaking cruelty. No matter how it might impact your other dalliances, we simply must make them hunger for you. Okay, so we can get a bunch of allegiance for a little bit of money, but I think I'm rather just take the diplomatic relations because we... What is up with our money? I feel like that is way more income than we should have. I think there's something weird there. But... I think we're just gonna grab a little bit of that. Yeah, we got some really good income suddenly. Neat. And you... Wait, what? Where'd they go? Did you actually kill them? You're a little bit hurt, so I think you just absolutely ruined them. Alright. Sounds good. <laughs> I really didn't expect that, but... Awesome. And um, I think we're just going to build the money building here because we already have the growth. And uh, I don't think there's anything in particular we want here. 
So yeah, let's just grab that and go that and grab the sword. The and holy crap, that's a garrison. <laughs> All right, um, grab one of those and go. So thinking about it, we should have probably just grabbed a black guard because they're probably just better than the Argoneth. I just saw anti-infantry and thought, fuck yeah, let's go. But I think the black guard would have just been better, especially just not having to fight the black guard because Nakari do not want to fight the black guard. And I mean, we got plenty of anti-infantry. We just need to get rid of their anti-large and uh, kind of just murder them. I guess these guys do counter the black guard kind of, so that's pretty good. But yeah, it it'll be fine though. We're, uh, we're gonna put them to good use and just send in Akari with a couple of guys, probably with the cultist as well. And probably one of the cav. I think it's gonna be fine. On the other side, let's just uh, send in our good stuff together with some healthy boys here. That's gonna be good, I think. Ooh, and send in the Marquis and the Fiends too. Just... They should be able to murder stuff over there. And the rest will go on this side. And we'll see what they... Because if they put some Harganets over here, we might just have to run around. But that's gonna be fine. At least we've distracted stuff over here. Oh, and speaking of distraction, I think we'll just put the cab on the other side. And if they put a bunch of defenses over here, then we'll just run them around. Otherwise, we might be able to pick off some archers or something over there. So I think that's gonna be fine. So, oh, send you guys in there, send you guys in there. Oh, and uh, let's see, a bunch of archers. Sweet. And they put nothing over there. Okay, so we just go in then. Um, bob and weave and get in on the shades. Those are just red spares, that's fine. Let's go in and help. Um, you guys can probably go and fight over there. Send you in, and send you in over there. Uh, it's gonna be fine. Oh, let's go and fight some shades. Split up, split up, and... Do we have any kind of anti-large here? I don't think so, but the fiends are getting surrounded here. Okay, let's pull them back a little bit. Send you in there, send in the... Those guys in there. Just send in the marquee, and... Yeah, debuff these cold ones. They're pretty strong. Oh wait, we have Harganess in there too. Ooh, yeah, this this might be hard. But we'll we'll deal with it. It's gonna be fine. Those are some more Harganess. Let's deal with those dread spears. You got a lot of Oh, you need to just That needs to chill. <laughs> Cause you're you're right in the middle of uh, Harganess. Let's pull you out. And get those demonets charging in the rear over there. That seems fine. Let's pop that. Debuff these guys. And whap them. You're doing alright. Uh, that's actually a really good Phantasmagoria. Come on, cast it. And just charge in while they're absolutely locked down. Let's try to send you in there. So, you guys, just move you over there. Oh, and we got Dark Shards that we're not dealing with. All right. Those are just Dread Spears. Oh, actually, let's get into those archers a little bit. How are you doing? You're not great. Could do better. But let's stay on top of those and pull you back a little bit. We'll be fine here. Oh, and everyone is just... Rampaging into you, so slicing shard on yourself. Let's pull you over to help out against the shades instead, because I don't want to lose you. Marquis seems to be doing fine. Would like for you to rampage, please. Oh, is the lord up there? I think the lord is just hanging out up there, so let's get a thwap through there. Doing a really good damage here, but I just want to go and murder the Lord. I think. <laughs> so that's the death egg. That's the ma oh, there she is. Go get her. 
So, go and help out with that. That's gonna be fine. That is a really rough blob we got working with over there. But we got some good stuff over there. I need you to hold back the... Oh, shit, I forgot about these. Um, let's charge two of you in there, and the other two just charge in over there. And we are gonna murder this lady here. Oh, we don't have any magic. I need... I want acquiescence, but I guess we can do that without. It's gonna be fine. So, you're doing alright. Let's absolutely murder these guys, where... We are rampaging all of them, so they're not gonna be able to cast anything. Or anything like that. And we are losing it. Okay, you need to get out of there. Oh, you really need to get out of there. Ah, oh, shit, we're losing the... Oh, we're losing the marquee. Alright, I guess that's gonna save us a lot of money, but... That's not great. I do not wanna lose my marquee. And yeah, you can stay in... Okay, actually, I, I don't want to lose you two. Let's pull you back. Yeah, the Marquis is dead. Right, kill the Lord. We got stuff happening here. This is fine. Uh, make sure these don't come back. Chase them off. That's going to be fine. Uh, pop the healing, I guess. Pop the debuff on, yeah. The Eternal Hunters! And one more. There we go. And so, Nakari claims the Sword of Cain. Beautiful. So, we did win this fight here. That's pretty good. Um, let's send you into the... Into the... Oh! I guess that's it. Sweet. Didn't quite save the marquee, but I guess it was too expensive anyway. Alright, so we lost the Marauder and we lost the marquee, but that is honestly fine. The marquee was way too expensive anyway, so I think it's for the best. We're gonna be able to get a couple of uh, Exalted Demonets maybe, and uh, probably some good Cav instead. So, it's fine. It was uh, probably inevitable because uh, it's kinda squishy, and... Uh, a lot of strong stuff in that garrison, but it did some good work. Phantasmagoria did pretty well, and we're just gonna loot and occupy this. And we are claiming this. So that's a lot of ward save, which is gonna be sweet. Unbreakable, which is huge on a demon, and uh, a bunch of a bunch of weapon strength. So claim it. Wait, again? Um, Alright, um, I guess we should read it too. The Sword of Cain will always be drawn to the powerful. You have defeated the most recent owner, and even as their body cools, the sword calls to you. The power of a god bound within the blade, waiting to be unleashed. Claim it. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Oh well. You got a Chaos War Shrine. I'm not sure if I want you on a Chaos War Shrine. Because it's super slow. So I think for now we'll, uh, well, first of all, we'll grab more gates, because I don't like only having one gate. But I think also we'll uh, put you on a Chaos Steed. It's gonna be good. Drink in my and, right, you can't have one of those. But these guys can. So, we'll see. Um, do we get ourselves... Oh, we can get another cultist. Right, because we finished the cultist building. Right, 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 right. So, we can get Chaos Sorcerers too, but I'm not sure if we will. I don't remember what their best mount is. I think it's a just a Chaos Steed. So, we might get one. I haven't decided yet. But if we get a good... A good... Uh, whatchamacallit... A good trait on one of these. We might grab one. I guess discipline is good. I'm gonna think about that in between episodes. For now, we got the Sword of Cain. Now we begin. Uh, let's grab that for way more speed and we're up to 1.1k. Now we're gonna have some fun. Now we're gonna fight Tyrion. Oh, we got two levels. 
Um, I guess so for Morik, Musk is pretty good. Just lower middle defense a little bit more. I guess it's pretty good if we're gonna... But we'll, we'll grab that once we start getting demon nets. And I don't think extra weapon strength for our Lord or Keeper of Secrets is any good right now. Especially not since we lost our Marquis of Masochism. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think so for Morik Musk. And we'll just leave it until we get some demonettes or more Keepers of Secrets. And I think that's gonna be fine. So, yeah. You're done. Um, we'll... Uh, I guess we'll... Now nah, we don't need to repair that. Stop taxing it, though. But yeah, we're uh, gonna go and start subjugating the these. We'll give them all the land back once we have subjugated them. That's gonna be fine. And yeah, I really wasn't expecting you to do that well. I thought we were gonna have to go and save you, but yeah, I'm happy you didn't. Sweet. And uh, yeah, Eltharion is back. Right, so... We'll see how Turian deals with this. He might just sit there and do nothing. But you got yours. Do we try to mark Vlad here? I think we're just gonna keep marking stuff that we think is gonna survive for the Golden Order here. So send him down. Let's mark this guy. But I think they killed the guy I'm... No, wait, there he is. So we're good. Sweet. How are we doing here, though? It's plus 12. Well, actually, plus 15. So we're slowly growing. And how's these guys? They are getting close. Sweet. Good, 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 good. So let's just... Uh, I guess we're going to get you ready for an army, right? So... Well, increased mobility is always going to be good, so that's going to be fine. Phoenix Gate, we're just going to sell to you once you've uh, accrued a little bit of more money. That's going to be good. And uh, I think I'm going to end this episode here. So, thank you so much for watching. We got the Sword of Cain finally. Now we're just going to find someone to kill with it. But I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.